Hi guys, my name is John with Depot Adventures and I am here to tell you about the famous, the dreaded Melbourne hook turn. Every now and again when you're driving in the city center of Melbourne, you'll see an electronic sign like this or occasionally a non-electronic sign, which is just like that. Can you see that one there? And that tells you that you have to take a hook turn like this car is doing right behind me right now. That car is about to take a right turn from the left lane. Even though the light is green, it waits all the way on what you would expect to be the wrong side of the road. The watch of that light goes from green to yellow and then to red and then the car will go. Yellow, red, and now let's watch him make his turn. He's making his hook turn all the way across the intersection like so, and that's how it's done. This is one of those rare places in the city center where we have hook turns in both directions. The purpose of a hook turn is to make it so that the trams can safely pass through the intersection. And so right here we have a tram line going along this way. This is where the 35 tram goes as well as the 30 tram. And if we let the cars wait in the middle of the road to wait for their turn, well then the trams would never get to go. They'd be stuck. And so we wait, making this white car here waits through its hook turn. Again, you can see that green light there. And when that green light turns, you'll see he will go the entire way across the intersection. So if you are driving in the city center, watch this. See that car there? It knew it could go straight because that white car had to wait. And now the white car and the car behind it is moving across. This means that yes, you can only fit about three or four cars in the intersection for a hook turn. It is not the most efficient way for a car to make a turn. But you know what's great about it? People on that tram can safely make their way through their intersection in a more expedient way. That is the entire idea of a hook turn. I hope this has been helpful. So just to recap one more time, if you're driving in the city center and you see a symbol like that right there, that is the universal hook turn symbol. If this is intimidating for you, I would recommend that you wait. Uh, and instead of taking the right turn, just take three left turns. Watch some other cars do what this car is doing right here and the car behind it. And only when you're ready should you take the hook turn. There are people here in the Melbourne city center who will not take hook turns because they're just too confusing. I myself, as an immigrant to Australia, had to learn how to do hook turns. And I have to be honest, once you get comfortable with it, it's not that hard. It's actually kind of nice to just be able to wait uh, in the intersection. And so again, these are famous in Melbourne, these hook turns. And it's something that is uh, only here because we have these trams. That is the oldest continuously, tra continuously operating tram network in the world operating here. And as the light turns green for this tram, it will know that it can safely pass through thanks to these hook turns. Guys, my name is John. I am a walking tour guide here in Melbourne, uh, and we do walk, walking tours for Depot Adventures every single day. And I'd like to invite you to come along and try them out yourself. We have a free Melbourne walking tour, as well as a complete Melbourne walking tour and a Melbourne ghost tour, and you can come see them for yourself, where we will show you the amazing hook turns in person, as well as beautiful trams, bicycles, and every other method of transport here in Melbourne. Thank you so much for wa watching. Have a great day.